This conference will now be recorded. All right, thank you for joining us today um, on Tuesday, July 28th at 7.15 p.m. for the um, City of Albany Human Relations Commission meeting. Um, let's go ahead and uh, have a roll call. Thank you, Chair. Uh, Commissioners Newton. Here. Quinoa. Here. Lolly. Here. Brenneman. Here. Perkins. Rop. Kopsinski. Here. Uh, I believe that is five commissioners present. Yes, it is. All right. So let's go move to the next uh, item on our agenda. The approval of minutes. We have two sets of minutes. So it will be February 25th, 2020, and the June 23rd, 2020. Move to approve. Second. All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Let's go ahead and move to item number four, which is the business. I have a request, though. Would everyone themselves and their speak? Because we're getting a lot of feedback. If anyone else is, we want to make sure that the recording. Okay, perfect. Um, all right, so scheduled business. So business from the public. Looks like we don't. Well, we just had someone pop in. So. Steve. Thanks for joining us. We're at our item number four, which is scheduled business, business from the public. Did you have anything that you wanted to bring to the uh, commission today? All right, hearing none, let's go ahead and move um, on to our next item. Uh, Steve, if this changes, just let us know. I know there might be connectivity issues. All right, so the Human Relations Award presentation that is happening next month at the second city council meeting. Uh, Jorge, Jorge, what's that? August. Uh, it's uh, scheduled for August 26. We have it um, either in person or virtually, but I think that it's going to continue to be virtually, so we're just going to plan for that. It's on the agenda for the 26th at 7.15. Okay. And so the um, report presentation will also be on, on the same day. And I believe Perfect. that myself, I'll be presenting. And Chris, were you also coming or? Uh, no, I will not be there. Okay. okay. Scott, were you coming? Yeah, I think I can be there. <clears throat> Tell me again, what's the day? Uh, August 26th. <laughs> You know, Stephanie, I can send you, I can send you a, a preliminary uh, write-up that I have done in the past for this award that gives a little bit of the history and a little bit of the background. Uh, so I'll be more than happy to send that to you. I would appreciate that. And I'll be getting over the finalized version of the um, annual report, and that'll be down at City Hall for them to go down whenever they have a moment to just officially sign. So I believe that. Sending an email, uh, letting everyone know when they're when when they can come down. Yeah, All right. Oh, what was that, I'll Scott? I can be there. Okay, fabulous. All right, so let's go ahead and move to the um, HRC calendar event debriefs. So, has anyone attended any um, events? You know, virtually or you know, in person uh, in the last month since we last week? No. Nope. <laughs> so the only thing that I attended was, and I was on the tour, we did the um, Albany Visitors Association, the historic, you know, walking tour for you know, downtown, like the, um, the yards which was cool. Yeah. Um, only, I would say, probably a handful of people, like maybe about 50, maybe 60 people uh, like being generous. Um, to contrast that, like when we did the uh, parlor tour in December, 
we had almost a thousand people come. So everyone is definitely, I feel like the entire city is kind of just, you know, keeping quiet. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and move to the next item. So any upcoming events for the H HRC calendar or other volunteer opportunities? None that I can think of. I, let me quickly look it up. Um, I know the Family Tree Relief Nursery, they had their um, gala, they ended up rescheduling it. And now they're doing a virtual gala. I wanted to quickly grab the date. I know that I was gonna try to attend that. I wanted to look at when that was, but so let me mention that. Let me find that really quickly. Okay, oh, so it's not till October, I apologize. So it will probably end up being remote just with how, how things are. But um, so I guess we can get that added October 10th, planting the future gala for the Family Tree Relief Nursery. All right, so, oh, Ray Kopsinski. Yes, I'd like to uh, offer that we invite Alex Johnson, city councilor, uh, to our next meeting to give his presentation on uh, how everything came about about the uh, Black Lives Matter event. I honestly thought he was going to be discussing that at the last meeting, but he never, uh, he wasn't really invited to do that. He was just there at, at our last meeting but he's got a pretty powerful presentation that he uh, has made to a couple of service clubs. And I think it might be good for all of us to uh, be involved or reflect on uh, his viewpoint on that. Just a thought starter. Sounds great. And it looks like Councillor uh, Johnson is here actually with us. So Councillor Johnson, would you be available for our next meeting, um, which is Tuesday, August 20th? Oh, there he is. <laughs> yes, ma'am. All right. <laughs> Get you out of our agenda. All right. Oh, you can thank Ray, you can thank Ray later, Alex. <laughs> I actually, I have to give my shout out to Scott on that one, and Ray also oh. invited me to speak as well. All right. I was just gonna. Is it too late to? It's too late to go back to business from the public. Would Alex be a part of the public where he could give some uh, thoughts today? No, we can do it next meeting. It's no problem. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm dying. I'm dying to hear what you got. I can't wait. I've been zooming since seven o'clock this morning, so I'm I'm done. <laughs> okay. All right. I understand. <laughs> All right. So um, for the annual report, let's go ahead and just I think we'll say everyone, everyone's still you know staying inside as much as we can and social distancing. We'll mention you know. We had a handful of people at the, at the yard tour. I guess it's kind of like a city of Albany people coming, but I don't really feel like we have much for the um, 2020 annual report to add, unless anyone has something they'd like to interject. All right, so seeing none, let's go ahead and move to staff updates. So Jorge, take the floor. Thank you, Stephanie. Uh, the only thing I have to uh, report is that I believe Chris asked about the uh, Sunrise Park, an update on that uh, last meeting. So I did have a conversation with Kim and uh, she noted to me for to share with you is, uh, she confirms that the project is complete. The goal was to have a dedication once the last bit of construction wrapped up. Uh, but sadly due to the COVID event or COVID pandemic that was put on hold. Once we are clear on the clear, um, we will work towards doing an official event at the park to dedicate the space. Uh, Kim would love to have the HRC participate. And then she said that Parks and Rec will let the HRC know uh, when we have a better idea of when the event uh, will likely take place. But you'll all be invited to that. Awesome, thanks Jorge, that's good to hear. Yeah, great. Perfect. All right, so business from the commission. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I need to share with you some information. Um, this past July 20th, I uh, submitted a letter to Mayor Sharon Canopa and the City Council, and I wanted to share it with you folks as well. Uh, I wanted to let you know that my wife Susan and I have decided to relocate to Independence, Oregon. Uh, it's time to downsize, and this is an area that meets our current needs. Uh, we have enjoyed our time in Albany and believe we have contributed positively to the youth and the various community groups of the city. 
As educators, we have always dedicated ourselves to making positive impressions on students and hopefully help them grow into positive contributing members of our community. Upon retirement, I was fortunate to be a representative on a number of com community committees and projects. Uh, Mayor, your faith in me and the city and the faith of the city council allowed me to be a voice that helped to provide insight to segments of the city government and to local groups toward building a better Albany that welcomed all peoples to our community. Uh, I enjoyed this opportunity greatly. I therefore submit my resignation effective July 31st, 2020 uh, from the following committees, the Human Relations Commission, the Community Development Commission, the Albany Development Code Task Force, the Parks and Recreation Master Plan Committee. Albany has been a wonderful uh, place to live for the Equinos and we won't be strangers as I'm sure we will be frequent uh, visitors to the wonderful friends, activities and restaurants that we have, uh, have made a part of our lives. Um, I'm sorry to be leaving this commission. I've thoroughly enjoyed my opportunities uh, to be uh, a member of this commission and to associate with all of you in, in the hopes of making Albany a better place to live for all people. Um, unfortunately, an opportunity came our way. Uh, our house was on the market for a grand total of two weeks. Uh, we sold our house. We uh, have uh, ran into a builder in Independence uh, that uh, I was very familiar with that builds a wonderful home. Uh, their home, the home building coincided with our signing papers today uh, and finalizing our sale on Friday uh, and taking ownership of our new home on Monday. Uh, so uh, it is moving that quickly. Uh, we hadn't planned on it moving that quickly, but unfortunately it has, and uh, that has necessitated my uh, need to go ahead and submit my uh, letters of resignation uh, as I will no longer be a member of the Albany community. Um, but don't worry, you won't get rid of me. I'll be around for a lot of different activities and events. Okay, um, I'm devastated. Love working. <laughs> And I am looking forward to oh, seeing shit. what you're going to be doing uh, in Independence. <laughs> your voter registration as soon as you possibly can. All right. Well, thank you for everything you've done for the community, and I'm super excited for you. So that's that's awesome. Okay. Is there any other heart wrenching news? Ray, do you want to move? Go ahead. Oh uh, wow! Just wow! Uh, all I can say is. Congratulations, uh, and you will most definitely be missed. So stay in touch. Well, Ray, I can assure you that uh, my granddaughters have become very, very familiar with the uh, carousel, and so uh, most likely we will we will be uh, parting or at least crossing your path in that uh, facility sometime in the future. They're three days a week. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd like to say something too, Chris. And that is that uh, you've been an important part of my family. And uh, I think we're all going to miss you. And uh, I, you've been an important part of my involvement with this commission. And I will certainly miss you as well. So thank you. Thank you. Hey, hey Chris, I also wanted to thank you for all your hard work and contribution to the city. I know that. I'm always amazed on how many commissions and how many meetings you attend for the city, almost like a staff <laughs> member. So I want to say thank you, and uh, I wish you good luck on your new and your new adventures over there in Independence. Chris, well, um, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say I I made one mistake when I retired, and that was letting Sharon know that I was available. Right. <laughs> Well, Chris, I want to thank you as a as the board member for African American Youth Leadership Conference. You came in coming out to our last conference at LBCC and sharing your story with the young middle middle school kids that attended that um, that workshop that Councilor Junkins and I hosted. And um, I'm still in touch with a lot of those children and their parents. And and your message at that meeting was wonderful. And I, I sincerely appreciate what you've done for the city of Albany and the children of the city of Albany in Eugene and Corrales and Jefferson and Lebanon that attended that session. So thank you so much for that. Thank you. All right, so, oh man. Okay, so we'll <laughs> like 
I don't know how I to didn't mean to, I didn't mean to take over the meeting step, but I thought it would be most important for all of you to hear this straight from me. Can we all go out and have a beer? <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe we can do it virtually. <laughs> yes. All right. So our next meeting date is uh, Tuesday, August 25th. And without any further uh, news or items on our agenda, let's go ahead and adjourn.